Hey guys, uh, yeah, um, sorry I've not done a video, um, as you probably saw I put out a rather shock announcement about three, four weeks ago that I was stepping away from the hobby for a while, um, which is having to be the case unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> reason are three things hit me at once. Um, first off, my mother's been ill. Um, which has been quite a strain on the family, um, but both my brother and, and, and uh, Neil, my brother Neil and I are trying to support her and Colin as much as possible uh, through a rather cr critical time in her health. I'm not going to divulge what it is, it's only close friends who know what the issue is. Um, so that's been quite stressful. Um, also, my because of COVID, my circumstances have changed at work, um, so that hit me. Um, um, as a circumstance, I can no longer afford to live here. So, yeah, all three things hit me at once. So I had to make the drastic decision of stepping away from the hobby for a while until things improve in my life and things pan out more smoothly. Um, thankfully, I've got a new premises that I'm going to, which I'm moving to on the 1st of September. But it's um, a far smaller premises and obviously modelling there is just not viable. So um, I'm having to take a break from the hobby, which has not been a very easy decision to make because this is my second love. And uh, it's extremely hard to have to walk away from it because I really feel like I'm leaving an old friend behind. But I know in time that that old friend I will be reunited with. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting a bit... Swore myself, I wasn't going to get emotional. Sorry, I'll be all right in a minute, guys. Give me a minute. <clears throat> so, a quick drink of water. Very warm today, very hot and humid here. Right, okay. <clears throat> anyway, as I say, that's the reason I'm having to step back and take a break from it for a while and from YouTube for a while. But I would like to take this opportunity and thanking every damn one of you throughout the community and those who subscribe to my channel for all your support, all your well wishes throughout the years that I've done this hobby and I have enjoyed every part of the journey. I mean, I started off with about 10 subscribers and now I'm over a thousand, so I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I never ever expected it to lift off this big. I really didn't from the day I started it, you know. Um, and there's one person I want to thank for that as well, is my good friend Mike Cohn, over in Canada, because if it hadn't been even him for pushing for me to do it. I would not have made the amount of friends that I have had now. So, buddy, thank you so much. And uh, needless to say, we'll still keep in touch, even if I'm not involved in the hobby for a while. And that goes with many of you out there in, in YouTube land and uh, beyond. I will be keeping in touch and letting you know how I'm getting on. Um, yeah. Definitely for sure, because I have forged so many good friendships. Some people have fallen out with, and they've gone their own merry way, you know. And that's part of life, you know. People make their own choices in life, and, you know, that, that's their decision, and I respect that, you know. Um, but there's a wealth of talent and a wealth of inspiration out there, and... One thing I have realised is how supportive every one of you, male or female, is in this community. And I want to thank you so, so much, especially during this rather critical time in my life. 
Um, I am trying to keep. Oh, I am. I'm sort of th thinking positively because they often say things happen for a reason, um, which I'm sure is true. Um, hopefully, this is a case of onwards and upwards. Um, I am going to miss it like hell. I know it. Um, when I knew moved to the new place, I mean. It's it, it's the only sort of therapy that I've got to deal with this sort of thing and now I can't even do that, you know, and I'm going to have to channel it into something else for a while. Um, maybe I might go back to my drawing, I don't know, um, for a bit until I'm in a position where I can return to the hobby and I'm pretty damn sure I will. Um, I mean, hang on, let's get this camera up a bit. I mean, the build you see in the background there, the my builds, my completed builds, I'll probably just put them in some plastic containers and store them under my bed in a new place until I'm in a position to find somewhere new, possibly a place of my own, to put them back on display again. Um, I mean, a lot of my materials I'm going to have to dispense with because I can't take them with me. Um, a lot of my stash I'm going to have to get dispensed with. My brother's going to sort that out. And he's taking some that he's going to store for me as well in as and when I'm in a position to return to it. Um, You know, it just seems like a bad dream that I'm having to walk away from this. I just, oh. You know, if, I mean, if COVID hadn't hit us this year, I mean, I had so many ideas in my head as to what I was going to do. I was going to take part in the Battle of Britain group build. I was going to take get my V1 diorama finished. I was going to get the Panzer II finished. I was going to get this Wessex done. Um, but nah, it's not happening now. You know. Um, Life's a bitch sometimes, you know, but, you know, as I say, things happen for a reason. But I know for sure I'll be back at some point when I'm back on my feet, um, when we're all back on our feet, you know. I mean, we all get through this. I know it's hard times and it's it's very hard times, but we always come out to the good side of it. And I'm sure I will. Um, so we will see. Um... And God willing, we won't have another second spike because if that happens, oof, that's going to be devastating. So, you know, I'm hoping and praying that ain't going to be the case, you know. Um, I mean, I know it's there's a second spike in Europe and there's one out in China. Um, but I am I'm hoping that, that, that we're more prepared for it this time. Um, and I'm sure we will be. Um, I'm, to be honest, I, I just can't get wait for this year to be over. I'm just hoping 2021 and 2022 and 2023, etc. are going to be far, far better for me. Which I'm hoping and I'm sure they will be. Um, it may well be a case that I may not come back into Bobby until I retire. I don't know. I mean, I can't predict what the future lies ahead. Um, say circumstances have changed at work with the net result of COVID, uh, which I'm not going to go into detail. Um, but as I say, one of the knock-on effects is that I can't stay here. You know, um, I was sweating at the fact that I wasn't going to find anywhere, but thankfully I did quickly. Um, 
even if it's just a temporary stop gap. Um, we shall see, you know. Uh, but I didn't want to go without making a little sort of au revoir video, you know. Um, I might well just do a little quick video from time to time just to let you know how I'm getting on. Um, and then one day I'll be coming back saying, hey, I'm back. And I look forward to that day, I really do. And I aim for that day. You know. Um, and this hobby is really, really growing in strength. It really is. I mean, some of the products and some of the releases that are coming out, fantastic. I mean, the Edward Spitfire that was coming out, oh God, I'd love to have that, but I can't, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, especially in this significant year of the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, you know, which was our darkest hour. And we're going through our darkest hour again, funnily enough. But like then, we will bounce back. I'm sure of it. And we will win. You know. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Pretty, pretty, pretty positive that will be the case. You know. So, yeah. Um, I mean, prime example is my friend who's the nearest thing I've got to the door is Brittany. Um, she's now moved in with her new boyfriend, John, into a lovely, beautiful home in Chatham. Uh, so I'm sure things are going to go from strength to strength there. So I wish you both the best. And don't worry, I will keep in touch. I will keep in touch. Um, and um, sure, the same goes for a friend, a mother, Kathy. I'm sure things are going to take off for her as well. You know. Um, I mean, it's not only hit me, this COVID crisis. I mean, it's hit one of my oldest friends, Alan Harrington, and he's been with BA 30 years, and we all know what's going on there. And he's had to take redundancy because, obviously, the new terms and conditions and working there are, well, to be honest, I'm disgusted. And um, I think Willie Walsh needs to step down, personally. So that's my personal thoughts on it. He's the CEO of British Airways and I've never taken to him. He seems more interested in profit than his own staff, you know. And unfortunately that's the way of the world these days, sadly. But there you go. Um, but he's got a couple of businesses to fall back on. I mean, he's, he's got his framing and photography business, which seems to be taking off, which is a good thing. So... It's probably a case of a good time to leave. I mean, he's been with them 30 years, so he's done a damn good in him for them. And uh, I'm sure things are going to go from strength to strength, mate. You know, I know that. Because uh, we were having a little sort of a chat last night about my situation. And uh, he'll do fine. He'll do fine. I'm sure we all will once this is over, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, but uh, I don't think there's much more I can say really. How long have we been going on now for about what nearly a quarter of an hour? Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's it's hard to step back from the hobby because you know, I love it so much. I mean, it is my second love, as I say, um, it helps me to relax. Um, I forged a little, oh, sorry, that's the neighbour next door. Um, it's 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 made me forge really strong friendships. Um, I might possibly go to Telford this year. I don't know. I'm not making any promises because you know we we, we got to see what's going to happen. I mean, I'll probably announce. <laughs> timing right this guy I tell you <laughs> anyway what was I saying before I got distracted with the drill next door um, which I won't have to put up with for much longer um, do you know I've lost track of what I was bloody saying now that he's done that hang on
Why, oh why do they always do it when you're trying to make a fucking video? Excuse my French. Um, I've got, he's put me totally off track of what I was saying now. As I say, it is, it, you know, it, it helps me relax. I mean, as I say, I forged a hell of a lot of good friendships for it, which I intend to keep up. And even though I may not be involved in a hobby, um, I'll be honest, I'll be surprised if Telford does go ahead this, this, this year. Because it's normally around about August that they announce the agenda. Um... And because of COVID, a lot of model shows have... Thank you, I was trying to make a video. Um, sorry about that, guys. I really do apologise. Um, he's done it again, he's made me go off track. Oh yeah, Telford. Um, I will be surprised if it does go ahead. Um, it, how they're going to do it, I don't know, because it's such a large show. Oh my god, here we go again. Fantastic time, isn't it, eh? <coughs> anyway, before he gets drilling even more, I think I'd better, I better finish up here. All I want to say, guys, is look, thanks for all your support for the last six years. Uh, I mean, it means a hell of a lot. Even recently, what we've got's been going on in my personal life at the moment, and the reason I've had to bail out the channel for a while. <coughs> but you know, I will be back. Uh, I aim to get back. Christ sake, here we go again. I tell you what, my landlord's going to have such a fun time with this guy, I tell you. He was up. swan song to go to a bloody electric drill really come on <laughs> oh well at least i'm giving you guys a bit of a giggle um anyway as i was saying um before we keep getting interrupted by that damn drill um i want to thank you all, all you guys for all your support throughout the years um as i say i will be back at some stage when that will be i have no idea um but onwards and upwards and as i always say get kick crazy happy modeling stay safe keep well um yeah i think i'll finish it there and uh, as i say i'll be keeping you all in touch with all you guys throughout the community even if i'm not partaking long, i'll be letting you know how i'm doing and uh that's really it, you know, I can't say any more, so until then, take care, and uh, I'll probably do a video now and again just to let you know how I am. Should be the hammering next. Ah, oh boy, this, this bloke is, is something else, I tell you. Anyway, I'm going to finish up. You take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Cheers. Mm -hmm.